What's up guys, Ricky Kruth here, Remax of Orange Beach, ZeroToDiamond.com. Today, I really tear into a real estate agent who continues to do the same thing over and over again, even though it's not working. And I think you're really gonna get a lot of value out of it. So here it is, enjoy, and reach out with questions. Like, like you would never go into a call and say, hey, I'm looking for Ricky, okay, cool, look, I'm so-and-so, whatever realty, I'm calling about this property, and just start talking. You're not respecting their time. You haven't even asked them if it's a good time to talk. You haven't asked how their day is going. You have you just you just blurting out stuff and going straight for the kill, right? And that's why you're not getting any appointments. I am what I am today because I did it my way. Nothing y'all can say. Hello. It's Vivian. Hey, it's Ricky. Hey, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Good, man. Hey, um, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, man. Um, you're you're a complete badass. Um, I I don't know who told me uh, a, a few months ago. Somebody told me about you. I started calling you and stuff like that, and uh, it, it, it's just phenomenal the way that uh, that you do things. Um. I just have a few questions. So, um, one, of the, one of the things that kind of sticks out to me is the, the way that you talk about, like back in 2002 when you started real estate or whatever. Yeah. You did that for a couple, you did that for a couple of years, and then you became a millionaire. Right. Yeah. The off front desk. That's real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Through commissions. Miss Christie. That's insane. Um, well, the market blew up. Like like between 03 and 05, you know, that's when the boom happened before the big crash. And so prices doubled, you know, over like a course of like three years, prices doubled. And it was just crazy. So, you know, pizza delivery boys were getting the real estate license and making a million dollars. So it wasn't crazy, you know, I mean, I mean, yeah, I put a lot of work into it, you know what I'm saying, but it wasn't anything crazy it'd be crazy to do that now but the market's different that was like a once in a lifetime stretch you know window of opportunity i got a i, I got a few family members uh, out in la and stuff like that they, they got the real estate they got the real estate license uh, like back at that time i was in high school or whatever it was but uh, they, they weren't making a million bucks um i guess my question to you uh when it comes to that um are you like, is, is your family like, uh, like a like a millionaire family, or how, how did you know how to do that so early on? Because I mean, what are you like, thirty two or thirty three? Okay, I'm thirty seven. Um, no, my dad was a roofer. He roofed houses. We were middle class, and nobody in my family's ever had money. So, so the reason why the the the, the way that I did it is because I grew up roofing houses. Right? All right? Okay, and like when you roof houses for a living, you get paid for how many shingles you lay. And so when I switched into real estate, it was real easy because you get paid for how many houses you sell. And really, I wanted to figure out what the translation was between laying shingles and roofing and getting paid to real estate. And so I finally realized it was making phone calls. So I knew that I would get paid for how many phone calls I made. And so I made that relation from roofing to real estate. And then from there, when I, once I put that together, then I just said, okay, I'm going to make as many phone calls as I can make. That's going to be my number one priority is, you know, calling people and developing these relationships. That's how you do it. So you said the equivalent to shingles is picking up the phone. Yeah. How many phone calls you make is the same thing as laying shingles and roofing the only difference is is you may or may not get paid for that phone call today you may get paid for that phone call in a year two years five years tomorrow next month when you lay the shingle you get paid for it on friday so there, there's a difference there but it's the same relevance that's a that's a phenomenal tie into i mean you you make it so simple man that's Thank you. Um, and then, um, and, and then I, I, I know 
Um, I kind of reached out to you through uh, uh, DM. Um, I asked you about, I, I know you throw out, hey, I read these many books or whatever it is. Do you have a list of those books? And the reason I ask this is because a lot of the time, like, I see somebody like you, right? And uh, I, I want to try and learn through what you're doing. But for some reason, I just, it, it doesn't click with me. I have to, I have to read about it. Have you read so my book? Can, have you read it here? What, I have not. Which one? Both of them. Okay. I would start there. You know, everything that I learned through the crash and through coming back and make, you know, doing a hundred sales a year and hit, making a million dollars in a year and all that. Those two books embody everything that I learned all wrapped into a really easy to read short little book. But if there's other books, you know, there were other books that aren't real estate related. There's the 10 X, there's the 10 X roll. There's, there's uh, the slight edge. Um, those two were really big for me. Um, I really like those. I mean, as far as books goes, you know, I don't read a lot anymore because I'm so busy executing now. I think that there's two kinds of education that you need. There's the kind from reading and going to seminars and researching, and there's, there's the kind from experience. And if you don't have both, you can read all you want to, but if you don't have experience, you're not going to go, you're not going to make it at all. If you have experience, but you're not trying to read and research, then you're, you're, you're not going to go as far as you could, you know. Um, but, you know, I did a lot of research and a study, and now I kind of get, I kind of consume my content through videos and, you know, reading different social media things or watching videos and stuff on people that I like to follow. So, I kind of get my fix for learning new things through that, you know, instead of reading. I don't really read a whole lot anymore. I just don't have time, you know. If I have time to read, then I'm probably going to be editing a video or trying to figure out what, you know, my next move is, you know, to, to build the business. Mm -hmm. you're, yeah, you're a machine. Hey, um, and then um, a, couple, a couple more things here. Um, on, your, um, on your Facebook group, uh, the Zero Diamond book, uh, group, um, there, there's a lot of uh, like I, I look at it and um, I feel that there's just like some people just throwing out fluff um, like what? Uh, like uh, people saying oh I made 20 contacts and I got a listing appointment and they do that like pretty much every day like I've been, I've been pounding these phones uh, for an hour hour and a half every day and I still have not gotten like a single listing appointment Okay. Okay. How long have you been making the calls? Three, three weeks now. <laughs> okay. Cool. Who are you calling? Uh, it just geo leads. Um, okay. Like it pr pretty much within like a 10, 10 mile radius. Targeting neighborhoods. How are my neighborhoods? No, you're targeting neighborhoods, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, let's role play. I'm the homeowner. Ready? Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, um, trying to get a hold of Ricky. Yeah, this is Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Uh, my name's Fabian. I am a local real estate agent. Uh, the reason for my call today is that uh, this property over here. That's okay, really listen to me. Listen to me. The, 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 what you're doing right now is the reason why you haven't got anything out of your calls. I can tell by our conversation that you haven't really really went deep into my content like I have phone scripts I have videos of me making phone calls have you seen the videos of me making calls that, yeah a few like three or four videos so why haven't you tried my phone script I don't know man I'm... okay well listen to me because I'm trying to give you the root of your problem in this short period of time that we have together People that don't make it in this business keep doing the same thing over and over again. That doesn't work. They don't adapt. They don't they don't figure out what works and what doesn't work. They don't try new things and figure out what works for them. If you've been doing this phone script for three weeks and you haven't got any appointments, and other people are getting appointments every day, 
why not try something different to try to figure out something that works? This is something I this is something I cannot make you do. You have to understand that you've got to try new things all the time and try to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Like, like you would never go into a call and say, hey, I'm looking for Ricky. Okay, cool. Look, I'm so-and-so, whatever reality I'm calling about this property and just start talking. You're not respecting their time. You haven't even asked them if it's a good time to talk. You haven't asked how their day is going. You have you just you just blurting out stuff and going straight for the kill, right? And that's why you're not getting any appointments. It's not that you're not doing the work. It's not that people don't want to do appointments. It's not that the other people are getting lucky. It's because you are not adapting. Well, have you heard my script? Well, I've seen, I've seen the videos, but uh, that, 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 that's my thing. Like, I, I gotta go into it. I, I gotta, I gotta read your books. No, you know, you need to go to YouTube and watch the video I did where I circle prospecting. You need to watch that video. I called 84 people. Yeah, I saw it, man. Well then, I don't understand why you're not using, why you're not approaching this in more of a relational way. Then I don't know why you're, the phone script you just did with me is so geared towards real estate and doing a deal. If you're listening to what I'm saying and you're following me enough to want to have a conversation with me on the phone, I don't know why you haven't at least tried to use my phone scripts that work like a charm. That's the reason why people on the group are getting appointments every day. Help me understand why, you, why you're still using a script that I don't use. Help, help me understand this. Uh, I'm stupid. No, I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm just trying to understand why you why you're using a script that's not working for you for three weeks straight? I'm trying to learn, man. <laughs> I'm okay. Answer that. Well, look, I'm trying to help you. Quit doing it. I will. When they answer, you say, hey, Mr. Johnson, hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth at Remax of Orange Beach. How are you doing today? You pause and let them talk. We're going to read who, read what's going on with them today. Then, cool. I'm doing good, too. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous outside? Cool, man. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but a house down the road from you just sold, and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. No? Cool. Well, look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? No? Cool. Well, look, I'm sure at some point in the future, maybe five or ten years, you're going to want to do something. I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be all right if I stayed in touch with you? Okay, cool. What's your email address? I mean, it's really, really simple. I don't see how you I don't see how you could have watched the video of me making 84 calls with that script and seeing the seeing the results that I got and then turning around and not using the script or, or at least trying it out. I don't I don't I don't I don't know. That. Um, I guess what I, I guess in my mind, it, um, I have just finished up this book um, called uh, oh, what the hell was it? Jet Blunt Prospecting or something like that. Yeah. And uh, in my mind, I was like, okay, just hop on the phones, just do it over the next couple weeks. You're gonna get better. Um, that's good. Listen, that's a that that is a stage of the phone calls. Okay. Every, phone calls. 
to make quality calls and get to where you master it is is there's stages. First, you're scared. Then you do it. Then you figure out it's not as bad as it you thought it was. Then you got to figure out what to say. Then you figure out how to say it. Then you figure out how to read people, right? So you're at the stage where you broke through the fear. You're making the calls, but now you're just saying the wrong stuff. So you need to correct what you're saying. You're on the right track. You just got to correct what you're saying and go to that next stage. Don't get stuck in the stage that you're at or you're just going to be stuck and you're going to have to get out of the business. You always got to go to the next stage, next stage, next stage. And, uh, yeah, and then, okay, I'll do that. Um, and then my, my last question, man, um, the, the, the new one, social media, Gary Vaynerchuk, this is like another platform of, of knowledge. Um, it, it's something that, to me, I just, I, I don't see it right now. How did you get to that point? Was it just like hitting like a million dollars in stacked money or whatever and then coming across somebody? And then, I mean, what happened there? It just feels like you're so close to like a Tony Robbins figure. Well, I put my head down and I sold property for 15 years for 15 hours a day. And I got to where I was selling 100 properties a year. And I did that for three whole years before I even thought about doing anything like this, right? Yes, sir. And so I built credibility before, you know, a lot of people try to be coaches you know, after their second year and they haven't even sold anything. So I waited. I waited until it was right, where I actually had real credibility in the market. And it's still hard, even though I have the credibility. And so from there, dude, I've just been grinding, man. I've been grinding and grinding and grinding, trying new things. Like I'm telling you, I've tried so many things to become, you know, a figure in the real estate world. Um, I've just been pushing and pushing and pushing. I'm still pushing. I mean, I'm, I'm almost to 6,000 on YouTube, 15,000 on Instagram, 8,000 in the Facebook group, you know. I mean, I'm still small, but I, I've got some good momentum. And so I'm just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing, you know, until I get that breakthrough. All right, man. This was uh, fantastic. Thank you so much, man. Um, thank you. Absolutely, bro. You reach out if you need anything else. Go to go to my website, zero to diamond. Have you signed up for that free course? No. Holy smokes, dude. Go to zero to diamond.com. It's free. It's a hundred percent free. Go there and take my course. It gives you step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on how to become the number one agent in your area. Alright. Do it and get back to me with questions. Later, buddy.